Howdy folks, today we're going to be talking about mirrors, so here's to that. So a lot of you, a lot of people out there, and a lot of you watching this probably have, um, have issues with self-consciousness, with uh, your body image, the way you see yourself, the way you look, uh, and so forth. Um, you know, and, and living with my girlfriend, she certainly does, and I've seen a lot of patterns and habits in her life. And one thing that I've really noticed that I see in her is when she looks in herself, looks at herself in the mirror, she starts to do this. She goes to make sure that she looks okay, and then she starts to do this. She starts looking at the things that she doesn't like, her stomach, her arms, and her face just kind of falls, and she shrinks in, and she starts to suffocate her. You can't breathe when you're shrinked in. So she, and her stomach starts to compress, you know, and she doesn't like, she already doesn't like it, and so doing that doesn't help the case. And she's just like this. And this, that's not, Nobody looks good like that. I mean, that's this is defeat. This is soulness. This is hiding and shrinking away, and and the the tragic part. And she just spirals off, and she's self-conscious. She thinks she looks horrible. The only time that she looks like that is when she's looking at herself in the mirror. All other times of the day, she's vibrant. She's full of life. She's smiling. She's beautiful. She's moving around. You know, I can see all these different angles, all of these different shapes that she makes when she's standing, sitting, laying down. And, um, it's very beautiful. It's very attractive, I have to say. And so, um, a lot of you, I don't know how many of you do this, but when you look at yourselves in the mirror, what do you do? Because this angle, standing right here like this, people don't see you like that because you're moving around, you're, you're talking, you're laughing, you're smiling, you're crying, you're doing all sorts of things, and, and that's just not how you look. How you see yourself isn't how you look and nobody sees you that way. The only time you look like that is when you're doing this, when you're looking at yourself. That's just something I've noticed. I don't know how many how many other people do that, but you know, start to pay attention. Do you do that when you look at yourself? Do you shrink down? Do you hide away from yourself? Do you focus on the things that you don't like? There are things that mirrors are useful for and there are things that mirrors are not useful for. They're good at telling you if colors you're wearing matching or doing your hair or makeup or whatever, they are not at all useful for judging your beauty or judging your overall appearance and beauty. They're not even useful for judging your beauty on the most superficial, like, outward level. They can't even tell you that. And maybe that's why a lot of people never see themselves as beautiful, you know. We get all the time on the altering the way people look to make them look uh, skinnier or, you know, lighter or whatever than they really are. But then we alter the way we look when we look at ourselves. We alter the way that we look so we can get down on ourselves and attack ourselves. And that's tragic, you know? Um, that's, that's really tragic. And I know saying it's not going to just fix things, but, you know, there you have it. I've, I've always adhered to the philosophy that beauty is what it is to be human, that art and beauty try to capture being human. I think some people try to use it to transcend their humanity, and I don't at all believe that transcending humanity is beautiful. I think being human is beautiful, being who you are. I know that when people see you out there, when they see you walking around, when they interact with you, they see something that you'll never be able to see in a mirror. You'll never be able to see that in yourself. And it's wonderful. It's something that's great to see. The, the, there's been times where I've seen her just break free of all her insecurity, of all the things that hold her down, even for a small moment, and just be like who she is. And that is the most beautiful I've ever seen her. There you have it, you know, food for thought. Maybe this applies to you, maybe it doesn't. Either way, you guys enjoy your day, and I will talk to you later. Peace out.